Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hi, I'm Laura. I'm gonna watch The Expense Season 4, Episode 8. I just watched the Episode 6 and 7 today, this morning. I'm gonna put the links if you want to see that. I planned at first to watch the entire second half of the season today and to watch three episodes this afternoon but like you can see maybe the light is really like going down really fast and I think that we're gonna have a little storm right here where I'm living because it's beginning to rain, it's beginning to have a lot of wind so I'm not sure that I'm gonna have enough light you know for filming my reaction videos about the three last episodes at least I'm gonna watch one more episode today and after that I'm gonna see if I have enough time and if enough light. I will see that. About the two last episodes. I'm... <laughs> I was gonna say I'm depressed. I'm depressed for the characters. I said that I had trouble to find hope for them. That's not really what is happening. I have hope that they're gonna survive, that they're gonna be okay. Like, I'm pretty sure that the barb is gonna survive, you know, that ship, that the Rossi crew is gonna survive also. But for the rest of them, I have trouble to find a solution. I'm gonna say that, not hope, but a solution. I'm always having hope that they're gonna survive, that they're gonna be okay. But uh, I'm not finding really a solution for them, the ones, the refugees, Holden, Amos, the scientists, the inners who are blocked now into these things, who are going blind, who are having things falling into them and killing them, who don't have enough water or food just to feed all of them. And the ones who are supposed to save them, they don't know when and how they're gonna come. I don't know. I don't know what can be the solution for that. For them to not go blind, if it's not with all them blood, but I have trouble to imagine that really it can be a cure. I don't know how they can survive to all of these things being into the world and Falling into them, how can they just avoid them? Like, how? I have trouble to think about how they can survive without enough water or food. They're gonna kill each other and I don't want that because Mercury want to kill people into the battles to survive and of course all the night emos are gonna be against that. Of course the battles are gonna be against that. So people are gonna die into the two sides you know but one is gonna win and the other one what they're gonna kill them all i don't like that that's for what is happening on illus and that's already a lot but also on mars you know people are doing stuff on mars the better the opa they are what just committing robbery you know to have some resources and all of that i have trouble to imagine that it's just about that I'm beginning to think about a rebellion inside Mars or something like that, I don't know. But still, Draper is working for the wrong persons, doing bad stuff and I know that she lost everything and she lost up for Mars and she lost her reputation, her job, all of what her life was about, all of what her hope, her dreams for Mars, for her life. She doesn't have anything left, so she's doing bad stuff and I don't know what the solution can be for her to finally see the light and go on the right path again. Chris Ryan, I love Chris Ryan, I love her attitude, I love all about her, but she's going on the extreme limits of her character, you know. She's not just overreacting, she's also like not thinking right about why did you do that at first? Why did you take that position, that role of UN ambassador? Why did you choose to do it? 
because of humanity, because of humans, of people, you are fighting for them. So please focus on that and for some moments, for some times, just forget about the election, forget about all of the other things. You have to focus on people and right there she's not focused on that and because of that she's almost forgetting it, I, I don't know. And at the end of the last episode, she chose, she made the right decision, she chose to attack that ship, you know, in the inside to find Marco and to arrest him. They didn't find him and people attacked them back and people were killed into that battle and all of that. And the person that she sent into that ship, they died. So what? What can be the response? with that happening like the second option that she had was to just explode the ship so she's gonna do that during this episode but we saw that there were families and kids and innocent people into that ship can she really take that decision i mean for just one person killing all of the other ones okay some attacked you but some didn't attack you and you are still not sure that marco is into that ship. I mean, even the persons who attacked you, we can think that they attacked you in return, like they felt attacked, like you boarded their ship. <sighs> See, I'm, I'm desperate. <laughs> I'm not des. Uh, that's it. I'm not depressed. I'm desperate. I'm desperate about all of their situations, except for the Rosy Crew and the Barb, for which I have a lot of hope. For the rest of them, I have up, but a little up, and I, I, I can't find any solution. At least not right now. Uh, not right there. I, uh, maybe in some weeks, <laughs> you know, they can find a solution, a better solution, but they don't have time to wait. They don't have time to lose. Like right there, they're gonna go blind, I mean, into illusion, into the ruins. They're gonna go blind in one day. They just have enough food for some days. And if something is falling into them, they are dead in five seconds. And of course, Mercury wants to kill some of them just to survive, just to... <sighs> How can we survive to going blind because of things eating our eyes? How can we survive to things falling into us and just killing us? How can we survive without food and water? And how can we survive with mercury? Right now, I don't know. I'm desperate. And I'm not even talking about the proto. I'm not even talking about the fact that we didn't see Mila since what, four episodes now? Three or four episodes? And I'm still not sure that Holden is really trying to contact Mina. I know, I know, I know we have these scenes where Holden is just like, you know, looking like that and we can have the impression that he's trying to reach out to Mina and is not succeeding. We can have this impression, but during the last episode, I had more the impression that something or maybe this ring you know was talking to him was like sending him some instinct some energy some vibe then really he was trying to communicate with Mina I'm still not sure of that and really if I'm right about that I'm gonna be so mad I know what I can expect for the next episode but only bad stuff, you know, I'm not seeing the good that can happen like suddenly one ship is gonna come and save them all but how can they go into, you know, that area between the planet and the moon without having their reactor being shut down and how can they no, not even that. Um, see, I'm not even thinking that a miraculous help coming from a ship, I don't know which ship can happen. And I'm not gonna place all of my hope in the proto doing something good for us. Like, since the beginning, the proto is thinking about the proto, you know, about what is good for itself, about 
stuff like that. In the beginning, the proto is following one path, you know, is following what it wants and what it needs. And since the beginning, we are always one step behind what we think that he needs, he wants. And we are not anticipating what it can want or it can need. And right there, we are focusing on the proto's past. So of course, we're going to be late for what the proto is doing right now, because for me, the proto is doing something right now. And during that time, like we are just trying to survive and we are thinking a little about the proto's past the proto is doing something but the proto follows its purpose so i'm not sure that it can really care about us about their positions about them dying like that i'm not sure that it can really care about that but I said during the first half of the season that I was surprised to understand that the proto can have feelings. Maybe that can help! <laughs> Maybe they can have pity of us? I'm gonna stop talking right now because I want to watch all of the end of this season, these three episodes today and I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time. I will see that at the end of this episode I think so I'm gonna stop to talk right now and I'm gonna watch the episode 8 <laughs> I was counting let's go for the episode 8 I'm afraid of her decision I'm Chris Man, I believe in you they broadcasted it? Fred! We need to change the narrative. I think that you should get on the road. Stop thinking about Japan, strategy. Begin to think again so about the humans involved the into all of that. Is... No! You do not need to fall on your sword with this. I cannot. Good conscience. Continue to serve a leader who recklessly puts Marines in a line of fire for her own gain. We My Marines pay the price. Hindsight doesn't change what we Don't see. do that! At least she tried to not kill them all. Fred! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm glad to see him back. Oh! Yes. I'm negotiating a way for us to maintain control of the ring space and for the UN in to remove their battleship. Uh. This station is the backbone of the Belt's economic future. We must do whatever we have to to protect it. You can do it without me. I quit. Oh, drama. Oh, drama. Uh, same, Ashford. Really same. Yes, something on his head like I predicted. But can you really avoid those things? Wine, not dust. That is, that they are all blind. At least they can't kill each other now. Cable in the gantry. We maneuver the lateral bit and they come up shortly. That's a good news, at least. One of us needs something to go right. He must? Yes, stop that. He must? <laughs> Fuck! He's sending a message to the rest of them. <laughs> Make sure they don't keep coming. Okay. Oh, no, you're not. I'm keeping. Survive. He wants to survive no matter what. It confirms my theory. The slugs secrete a powerful neurotoxin that immediately paralyzes humans. What about treating your organisms? Finding everyone is there Yes. What? That can help. There has to be something we're missing. 
Miller! We are missing Miller! Yes. Also. Together. But how? That's the title of the episode. With poop, everyone is equal, you know? <laughs> Hello, my dear. That's great. On Earth? You're considering her to make your decision? That's good. Yeah, sure. I have to remember his name also. Just escorting the package from the dark storage facility. To one of the just? So we're just the middle man. What the package is? is? What's the package? I wasn't provided with that information. For the money we're getting, it doesn't matter. This and the one for CS building on the option should keep it torn. Yes, please, we need a win. Cable just eat on the meter. No safety margin. Should have gone breaking. That's yeah. not enough. I said one kilometer. What? What happened? I think someone walked away. That way. Hey, Moss! No, 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 Hey, Moss, you're losing it. Don't it? It's killing him. I hate to see him like that. Me neither. No, no, no. We're not gonna lose him. I'm not allowing that. And we need the yes. If we want a future of peace. You're saying that? The moment pictures in my office. That's a plan. Now for this mission, I am going to need a good example. I love that because I love their relationship, but I think it would be better if she's staying. I'm sorry, I'm looking for Isai Martin. Who is it, honey? Isai. Hey, Bobby, this is my wife, Catelyn. Catelyn, this is Bob. Something's not right. It's too easy and there are too many unknowns. We're not walking away. I don't trust him. He's active military, isn't he? And? I told you I'm not going to help you move weapons or anything that will hurt people. Now Trent said there was nothing we thought. But you don't know for sure. If I take this job, I'll make enough money to leave. Leave? And go where? The ring gate. New worlds. I'm all trained to leave, to leave because I'm not job. believing in mass like you did. And like you might be still do. There's no reason why Mars should continue terraforming. Mars has been terraforming for generations. It's a part of our culture, we're not going to abandon it. You're still believing in two I love that. Mars is changing, it's not dead. Mars died the moment they discovered those new worlds. I understand this point of view. Duty. Why not? Even this why not? But her, she's not. I was a good Martian my entire life because I wanted my children to get their share of the she's still up. If you want out, just say so. You don't owe me anything anymore. Thank you for that. 